Cars, a 2011 feature, stars Owen Wilson and friends taking the helm of a second Cars movie. This film follows Mater. Mater? Yes, Mater. As he ventures through on his important mission. <laughs> that tow truck going on a mission. <laughs> Would you shut up? Uh, uh. To save the world. Who is he fighting against, you may ask? Well, the mastermind is, quite simply, surprising. Tonight on the Mel Dorado Show, his story gripped the world. Oil billionaire Miles Axelrod, in an attempt to become the first car to circumnavigate the globe without GPS, ironically ran out of gas and found himself trapped in the wild. Feared dead, he emerged 36 days later. Running out of fuel, he distilled himself from the natural elements. Since then, he sold his oil fortune, converted himself from a gas guzzler into an electric car, and has devoted his life to finding a renewable, clean burning fuel. Now he claims to have done it with his all in all. And to show the world what his new super fuel can do, he's created a racing competition like no other, inviting the greatest champions from around the globe to battle in the first ever World Grand Prix. Now, there's many people to thank for this film. Thus featured. With John Lasseter as a director. You're probably asking, Logan, what does this have to do with me? What does this have to do with you? Well, let's go into detail. Uh, hi. So I guess I'm going into de to detail and stuff. But I just want to say, do any of you have food? Maybe? Do it! I was gonna do it, I was Shut asking... Them. I was asking them for food. I was wondering if they had pizza! So, for this going into detail, um, I wanted to express something very, very important, okay? Cars. Why do they look like the way they do? Seriously, they're all glossy. You get like one little scratch on it, it ruins the whole outlook of the car. Logan! Okay, jeez, I'm getting into it, okay, jeez. So apparently he wants me to put some worldview review on. Could you please? I'm, hey, look, I'm just, I'm the guy with the camera, you know? Well, I'm the guy with the YouTube channel. I'm the guy with the YouTube channel. So basically, what I want you to understand from this is sometimes the unexpected is expected. Sometimes the no, sorry. The uh, the ex the unexpected is expected. No, sometimes you gotta expect the unexpected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's really mad at me right now. What I'm trying to say is sometimes you gotta expect the unexpected. Sometimes the one guy that seems like he's the weakest in the party is actually the strongest. Sometimes the smallest elephant actually carries the most water. Sometimes the lemon can be the villain. And I'm not just talking about this lemon. I'm talking about this lemon too. Yeah, yeah, he could be the villain too. <laughs> Dude! Okay, geez. Um, so what I'm trying to say is sometimes the guy that you don't expect to do the most is doing the most. Basically, the whole premise of this story is to expect the unexpected. Because sometimes the unexpected is the thing that really seem to hold everything together. And the expected is just boring. Kind of like this video! <laughs> uh, am I done? Yo, can we go get pizza? Hi.